Okay, so the Georgian adventure continues and we are heading to Tusheti National Park. The guest house where we're staying asked us if on our way through the mountains we could stop at the last village, Alvani, and pick up 10 loaves of bread so that uh, they can feed us while we're there. <laughs> so the instructions are we have to ask around this town for Leah. She's the bread shop owner. Oh, there's George, by the way. And this is Goji. Oh, he's asking for Leah. Leah's book. Where's Leah? Oh, we found her! This is our shop. Leah and her bread. bread. I want to eat some of that now. 50 cents. 50 cents a loaf! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my, you're so cute. The what? village is gonna be stoked with us. <laughs> It must be getting hectic coming up here because we're dropping the tires down low so for extra attraction. That means some good adventures, good driving. Okay, so here we are, the beginning of Georgia's most dangerous road. Maybe Europe's, maybe the world's, who knows. It's heavy. And as we were driving, we saw another guy coming the other way and he just stopped our car and he goes, and he goes, hey, did you guys hire a driver? Because I just rented a car and tried to do this road by myself and I ain't doing it. So he's like, give me the number of your driver. I want to get someone to drive me up because it's too scary for me. So this is a little taste of what this road's like. Each cross you see along the side of this road are from tragic car accidents. And there were a lot. We just stopped on the side of the road and apparently we're eating Tuzhetian banana. Is Ripped it, it out of the ground. Tuzhetian banana? I don't think so. Tastes like celery crossed with green apple. Never not time for a sneaky hajapuri. Roadside hajapuri, yum. <laughs> Look at this road we just drove down. This guy just got stuck on the side of the road. He's absolutely smashed out of his mind. We went to help him and he's asleep with a cigarette in his mouth at the wheel. It's unreal. Look at this Bro, he's blind drunk. What are you talking about? Whoa! Wow! Okay! He pulled that out no problem. That was amazing. George, if we drove ourselves, this would be us. <laughs> that would be us. Probably. Was he too drunk to drive? Nah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he, offered, he offered me some wine to drink. He's like, I drank too much. Do you want some wine? In Tushetti, baby! Woo! Okay, after one of those beautiful six hour rides from Tbilisi. We've made it to our guest house here in Tusheti National Park in the little village of, I think it's Osalo area. And here's our guest house. Ooh, there it is. <laughs> I have a bread. <laughs> he has a bread. The bread, no box. There hey, there's a bread. Oh, oh. All right, here's our room. Who we got in here? Oh, wow, look at you, so pleasant. Oh. Well, you caught me enjoying my time here. In the moment. In the moment. <laughs> here we go. Six hour drive, I'm putting my feet up. We woke up and there's a big cloud inversion going on. Sort of big. Looks nice. But anyways, for this place, it's $30 a day and all three meals included. So, really good deal. And it's in this kind of watchtower. So day two begins, it's pouring rain. And we drove from Omalu to Bajorna. As you can see there, Bajorna is the highest settlement in Europe, 2,345 meters high. Rain 
finally let up and now we're gonna check out some of these local villages. I don't think there's anyone living in them. It might be fully abandoned or seasonal or something. So let's poke around. Crazy cool cool village. Jordan, thoughts? Oh, not present on oh, his phone. Oh, sorry. Wow. I was just... We're just in the most amazing mountains of Georgia, but Jordan's not being present. <laughs> I'm actually reading Georgian oh, poetry read to haiku. understand the village. Okay, read us a haiku then. Read us the poetry. Oh, okay. Ready? There once was a Georgian named Porgen. can improvise. There once was a, a Georgian named no. Porridge. Wow, pretty good. <laughs> Porgen. Okay, on it to rhymes. the next spot. It rhymes. Georgian called Porgen, it rhymes. Okay. All right, after a bit longer driving, we made it to the next village called Polbilta, and we're stopping here for lunch. Here's our lunch spot. So this is very cool, driving around from one abandoned village to another abandoned village and just checking it out. Okay, well, today's Sunday, so it's time to call everyone to church in this abandoned town. One person ready for church. Oh, hey, wow, you okay. Don't mind me, I'm just clearing the way. Ah! Ugh. Up! Ah! Clear the path! Wow! Whoa! Whoa! We made it up to the, basically the end of this road and it's only shepherds here, sheep shepherds with a bunch of uh, sheep fur in their little hut and a bunch of their sheep dogs which keep barking at us. But they're pretty cute. <laughs> oh, so many dogs. Well, we gotta find it up to literally the middle of nowhere to Cha Cha. Cha 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 Small, small, small. Small, small, small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still feel the last one. Here we go. I'm here to dance. 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 I'm <laughs> no more. <laughs> so I had a feeling that once the shepherd stopped us, invited us up to the hut, that there would be somehow alcohol involved. And sure enough, you have to take three shots of chacha to be respectful. So, ah, it still burns. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So unlike any other 
national park I've ever been to. We've basically just been village hopping. Ancient village hopping all day. Now we're at our last village called Dartlow. And I'm not gonna lie, it's the coolest village. It's so medieval looking with so many towers and really well kept. I think of all the villages we've been to today, that Dartlow is the coolest one. How many years old? 85. 85? Oh. Wow! Oh, yeah. What's beautiful 85. in uh, yeah. Georgian. Go. Cheese purchased. I finally got my Khabib hat because we're so close to Dagestan. Dagestan is literally right there. Oh. Those mountains. Dagestan? Dagestan. Yeah. So then they also wear these sheep hats here in Georgia. We just bought some cheese off of a local resident here. One of the few who live in these villages. So the reason why most of these villages are abandoned is because there's no more schools up here anymore. So if anyone has kids, then they have to go down to the cities. And it's just hard to hard life living in these hills anytime outside of summer. So right now it's summer, so it's super beautiful. But yeah, when the winter hits, whew, it's tough to live here. Nothing stands in between a man and his land cruiser. Oh, that's huge. It's official, this is the sketchiest bridge I've ever been on. The dumbest thing I've done in a while, pouring rain on this old ass bridge. This morning I was woken up with Horse riding, because it was like my dream to ride the horse in this lush green landscape. So that was amazing. And now we are commencing a 27 kilometer hike to Oretti Lake. This is the beginning. Let's go for it. I've been in Georgia so long, I've grown an epic mustache. Mm -hmm. Made it. This is a good place for okay. swimming. Personal rule, when I see a lake, whether it's glacial or snow melt or whatever, you gotta jump in. You have been crowned Crazy. the Skip King. <laughs> All right, we just made it down. And that wraps up our time here in Dusheti National Park. We're gonna stay the night in Omalu, our camp that we've been staying in, and then head out tomorrow morning to that treacherous road. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you ever make it to Georgia, definitely check out Tushati National Park. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, drop a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.